In this video, I'll be showing the new furniture update in Roblox Islands, so make sure to subscribe with the notifications on for more Islands videos, and like the video. This update wasn't really that big, but some interesting things happened. So first, they added 30 plus new furniture items. So if we go over to the furniture workbench, then let's just look at what they added. So ancient stool, ancient street lamp, ancient table, ancient wall light, and then that stuff already exists there. Then if we scroll down a bit more, then they also added the cactus plant ceiling fan. Oh, I wonder if that rotates. Let's just get one real quick. I want to see how it works. Then spherical. Wait, no, that's already added. Then the moonlight, starlight, then modern ceiling light. Oh, this was one of the leaks. And then a cage light, a whole bunch of more lights, some new chairs, then the iron fence, and then scroll down a little bit more. Then they added the new street lamps and potted tree and wardrobe and then some other things in the furniture workbench. So this was kind of like the furniture update. So let's just take out some grass and see if the ceiling fan actually spins. Because none of the other things spin, I think. Oh, that doesn't even spin. It just stays like that. Then they added some rich people furniture. So you have to have a lot of coins to buy these. So it's at the block guy and they're all golden things. But it's a little confusing because like you can craft the golden toilet. But like all of the other golden things are over here. So the blocks guy is somewhere, oh he's right there hiding behind everyone else. But if we scroll down a little bit, luxury ceiling light, 50,000 coins. I have 121 million coins and I'm just gonna buy everything, so we're gonna get that. We're gonna get the luxury wall light, luxury lamp, luxury candle, the luxury sink, not really that expensive though. 100,000 coins, luxury table. And luxury- wait, there's more. I didn't scroll all the way. Uh-oh. 100,000 coins luxury sofa. A million coins for the luxury street lamp. That is a lot. And then 5 million coins for the luxury bathtub. That is extremely expensive. That's like the most expensive item in all of islands. And it doesn't even do anything. It's just a bathtub. Or does it do something? Let's buy that. And, uh... That is so expensive. I don't know how long it's going to take to update my value list because there are just so many new furniture items. Let's see if the luxury bathtub is worth it or if it scammed me. So, you can't even sit in it and the water is solid. I think the luxury bathtub is a scammer. Then they made a really good change that I like a lot. So if you go over to anything that involves crafting like the workbench, then whenever you click on something, it actually says what it does, except for some reason these don't. Oh, never mind, there we go. So it just says, improved and larger version of the campfire for that one. It basically says, like, what it says when you hover over it, but on the side. Then they grouped things together under crafting menus, and I don't see a lot of the blocks, and I didn't look at this yet, so I'm just wondering, wait, why is the oak fence still at the bottom? Wait. Oh, on the side you can click it, that's really cool. So you just have that, but then you can click it, but for some reason it's off-centered, and, uh, yeah, so, I'm assuming that's the same, yeah, with the stairs, and then with these stairs that are wooden, then the signs, that is actually super cool. Then they did something very epic, so if you go over to craft things, now instead of just being able to bulk craft 10, you can craft 100, so once you go to 10, then you can continue and it's going to go up to 100. And you can also do that with steel rods. But here's the thing that I'm confused about. So, oh, Guild of Steel Rods too. But if you go to craft multiple aquamarine swords, you can. And it's the same with a few other items. Spellbooks you can. I don't know why you can't with those. Iron War Axe you can. Cactus Spike you can't. They really need to make bolt crafting for everything. I don't know why they disabled bolt crafting. Like, I remember before the update... Before the XP update, I was able to bolt craft whatever I wanted, and now it's like, I don't know why they would do that. But then you can do that for title spellbooks. It seems like they randomly disabled bolt crafting for some items, and others that are very similar, you can bolt craft them. I have no idea why, but maybe it's just like expensive items they made it so you can't. But that doesn't really make that much sense either, because if you go over here, 
then you can literally bolt craft smelters. I don't know why it's like that, but then under the anvil, the next part of the update, they made it so you could bolt craft the steel rods, and I'm assuming that also goes for the other steel rods, because I don't remember if you couldn't before this update, and I think I did. I have no idea really what's going on, but they said they did that, so they did that. Island said on Twitter that pigs would be in the next update, and this was the next update. And so I guess they mean the update after this update is gonna be pigs, but that's gonna be next Friday. Apparently there are also going to be like some other pretty cool things. I'll probably do a leaks video at some point. But let's take a look at the luxury things. First, we got the luxury wall light, and that is way better than the firefly wall light. Because the fire or firefly wall lamp, it literally just looks like a gray square with some shiny stuff inside. And this is like an actual light. This is good. And then there is this, which was a leak kind of a long time ago. Wait, that's not a bench. That's a table. Uh, yeah, luxury table. It is very short, though. Like, that is very short for a table. Then the wall lamp, the luxury one, it looks really nice. They have, like, a golden glow instead of being in, like, a white light whenever you normally place them. Like, if we go over to the other street lamp, then it looks, like, way better. This looks like something you'd get if you, like, found it on the side of the road somewhere. And this is, like, if you traded avocados to the banker. Then there's the luxury sofa, which this was kind of a uh, older leak, too. It is so short. Wait, can three people sit on this? That looks super weird. Oh, no, only two people can sit on it. But, wait, it's going under the ground. I think the luxury sofa is a hacker. And then we- wait, why did I destroy that? I'm gonna leave that there so I can show all the luxury items. Then, luxury sink, you gotta place this on the wall also. So let's just put that there, and it looks pretty nice. Then there's the luxury bathtub, which I already showed, but 5 million coins for a bathtub, you can't even swim in. And then you can't- or no, you can put cheese in it. Wait, so... Since the cheese is gold and that's gold, I think that cheese is actually made out of gold, not gonna lie. But yeah, look at those really nice looking rubber ducks, that's pretty nice. So I guess that is gonna be it for this video. There wasn't really a lot in this update, but it was just like a side update because there's gonna be the actual like pretty big update soon next Friday. And I'll try to stream it. I was gonna stream this update, but... Uh, I had a test, and my school was only like halfway done, but uh, make sure to subscribe with the notifications on for more Islands videos, like the video, join my Discord server linked in the description, follow my Twitter at Telanthric, use star code Telanthric to support my channel, and linked in the description is a guide called Roblox Islands Guide that has all my helpful Islands videos on it, so if you need help with anything, then check that out, it's probably there, but I'll see you all in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, comment avocado, I don't know why, it's just a good idea, and if people didn't make it to the end of the video yet, then they're gonna be kinda confused, probably.